Welcome to Lothar's Guitar School and a lesson 4 of intermediate reading for guitar with a swing feel. And all the PDFs for this course you can get for free at lothersguitarschool at gmail.com. And if this lesson is too difficult for you, go back with this intermediate lessons. There are already three out before. And if that's even too difficult, go back to the beginning of reading, sight reading one. And I guarantee you, within weeks, you can read. You just have to keep going, reading and playing. That's the key to reading. And now, let's look at uh, page 22, where we are now. Uh, more blues for grace. Uh, as always, we first check key signature. It's in the key of F, one flat, B flat. It's in 4-4 four, four time. The form is A, B, C, and each one of these is uh, blues form, 12 bars. And then we repeat from the end, da capo al fine, means from the beginning to the fine sign in bar 11. And um, grace notes uh, that we see in the beginning are executed just slightly before the beat, just slightly before the note notated, and have no value at all. So we move from the F sharp to the G. And in bar 3, we move from G sharp to the A. That's that for grace notes. And in the third line, we have a little squiggly line over the note, which means you play with the vibrato. Lie slightly, just move the note back and forth on the fret. And um, otherwise, um, it's just eighth notes. And watch out for uh, the jazz staccato, short and accented. And um, here we go, page 22, more blues for grace. One, two, uh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> song called The Blues. Uh, the form is again A, B, C and then Da Capo Alfina, so it means repeat the A part again. As the title indicates, it's a blues form, 12 bars for each uh, section. It's in the key of D, means an F sharp and a C sharp. I play that in the second position. And uh, we have some triplets in the B section. And we have accents, a uh, long accent uh, in the beginning. That is that uh, arrow-like sign. And that roof-like sign is a short accent in bar two. Plenty, plenty of them. And um, yes, let's learn page 23, the blues. One, two, a one, two, three, four. Thank you. 
24 we have uh, three rhythmic analysis uh, number one uh, shows the rhythms that you should memorize so you can execute them on site when you see them remember when there's no sign above a note means you play it long so in this first exercise every note is played long except you have that rooftop sign that jazz staccato on it and here we go number one one two a one, two, three, four. over eighth notes and since there are no signs of it they are long and um, the first line is the same in the first bar there as the second line first bar means all these notes are long except when executed with a jazz staccato on the third line we have eighth notes short eighth notes unless notated with a tenuto with a line over it that's long and that's the same as in the fourth line quarter note with a jazz staccato is executed basically as an eighth note so uh, check these rhythms memorize them so you can execute them on site a one a two a one two three four Exercise three is a combination of uh, what we had before. When you have no sign above the note means you execute it long according to its value. If you have a rooftop over it, you execute it short. And if you have a line over it means remember, execute it long. And here we go. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Looney's tune. Uh, we execute now a lot of the ideas we learned in the rhythmic analysis before. A lot of syncopations, which means accents that are not on the downbeats but that are in between on the upbeats. So um, 
It's a blues form again, A, B, C, da capo al fine, A again. Uh, it's in the key of C to make it easy. Four, four time. Here we go. One, two, a one, two, three, four. <laughs> Page 26, the world of Homer Uns. Uh, it's a little slower and it's in the key of G. I play that in the second position, a 4-4 four, four time. And if you look at it, it's again A, B, C. This time, da zenio Alfrina, from the sign, which is uh, the B section to the end of that B section at the fine sign. Um, we have a repeat sign in bars 3 and 4, means uh, just repeat the same bars 1 and 2 in 3 and 4. We have some triplets in it. We have articulation marks. Uh, uh, look at uh, the first bar in the B section. Uh, on the 3 we have a jazz long accent. And then we have a short note. Not an accent, just short. And um, Otherwise, uh, we know all the other marks already. So, here we go. One, two, a one, two, three, four. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
This was uh, lesson four of intermediate reading for guitar with the swing feel. Uh, I hope to see you soon at the Lothar's Guitar School. And remember, you can get all the PDFs for free at lothersguitarschool at gmail.com. And don't forget to subscribe. Watch my videos. There are many more on improvisation, scales and so forth. If you have any questions, suggestions, write to me in the comments or at lothersguitarschool at gmail.com. I hope to see you soon again. Take care and bye-bye.